Now at six, holding landlords accountable. That's what the city of Pontiac is doing to make sure people are living in clean and safe homes. Our AJ Walker shows us the changes renters and owners need to be aware of. And warmer temperatures are on the way, but we do have some active weather working its way towards us for the beginning of the week. We'll talk about what we expect to see and how warm it's going to get next week coming up. That's right, Stacey. And in less than 24 hours, the Lions will have a matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tens of thousands of people will be heading downtown to take it all in. What you need to know before going tomorrow ahead. On air and streaming live, CBS News Detroit at 6 o'clock starts now. Hey there, good evening everyone. Thanks for making CBS News Detroit a part of your Saturday. My name's Terrell Bailey. Well, first things first, if the cold weather was not enough, even more snow and ice are on the way. Have no fear though. Stacy Dufour, she's hanging out in the next weather center this evening. So Stacy, as we take on the nightfall, <laughs> it's going to be pretty cold out there, isn't it? Yeah, we are expecting another chilly night, although we are going to see things start to warm up a little bit starting tomorrow. So that is the good news. Overnight tonight, though, still expecting very chilly conditions right now. Do it for us here at CBS News Detroit at 6 o'clock. Stay warm, Metro Detroit. Don't worry. We are back here at 11 o'clock tonight. We'll see you all then.